So I've decided to sell my land and uh, also sell some of my properties to make up so that you go to Canada first. Yes. Yes. I'm very serious about that. Really? Yes. I'm yes. Sure you yes. I'm, I'm ready to do this. I know definitely that when you get to Canada, it's going to be a ton of money. I know that in less than one year or two years, you come and pick me up. I love you. I you love know, you so, so much. You know, I will always be there for you. Yeah. So, I'll definitely come. When I get there, I make it big. I'll be lost in the house. Thank you. Definitely. I, I, I know I love you too. Don't worry, everything's going to be fine. Eh? So, um, I'm definitely going to meet um, Mr. Friday. Okay. So, I, I was already giving him the papers of the land. So, he's going to make payments tomorrow. So, by next week, we're going down to Abuja so that you can conclude your visa stops and move to Canada. Okay? Okay? Everything's going to be fine. Hmm? Everything's going to be fine. Hmm? Okay? So, My brother's son. Uncle. So this was how your uncle spent all his life mm. spending on a woman that is not my wife. I even had to sell my only land at Oji River just to make sure that Abigail went to Canada with the hope that she's going to come back to pick me. But well, look at me today. I'm over 60 years now. I don't even have a child of my own, not even a wife, not even a house of my own. Just because I was busy spending on a woman that is not my wife. And that is why I'm advising you. I know you've grown and you've started seeing money. Don't ever spend on a woman. A woman that is not your wife. Before you spend on a woman, make sure you have gotten married to her. Even if it's just traditionally. Don't make the mistake your uncle made. <laughs> okay, uncle. Sorry. 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 It is well. Hmm? I wish you the best. Hmm? Amen. It's going to be well with you. Amen. It is well. Amen. Thank you.